Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC. Today's video is going to be a guide on Microsoft's free Windows 11 upgrade from Windows 10 that is now available. All CyberPower PC purchases after October 4th will already include Windows 11. However, if you purchase your PC prior to that, you will still be able to upgrade, so don't worry. So now let's jump in. Windows 11 launched on October 5th, 2021. So like I mentioned, all CyberPower systems purchased after October 4th will come with Windows 11 included. If you have a system that was purchased before October 5th, 2021 and after July 2nd, 2021 that came with Windows 10 included, stick around and I'll be going through a complete installation and setup in this video. It's also worth noting Microsoft is gradually rolling out Windows 11, so the free upgrades won't be offered to all existing PCs that are officially supported just yet. All existing and eligible PCs should be offered the Windows 11 upgrade by mid-2022 according to Microsoft. So if you haven't gotten an upgrade notification, don't worry, your system will notify you when it's ready. Here's how to get Windows 11 today if you have a new PC that just came with Windows 10 or a device that's ready for an upgrade to Windows 11. The first thing we're going to do is check that our system is supported using Microsoft's PC Health Check app. Now that we've made sure our system is ready for an upgrade, we're going to back up all of our documents, apps, and data. Next, we will check for updates, head into the settings, go to Update and Security, then Windows Update, and check for any updates. At this point, if the Windows 11 upgrade is available to you, it will say Available to Download here. Go ahead and download and install Windows 11. From this point, you can follow the on-screen prompts and configure your settings however you prefer. And that's it, you're upgraded to Windows 11. If you follow those instructions and you see the following pop-up, you'll have to prepare your system to make it ready for an upgrade. Today, we're going to show you how step-by-step. Step. First thing you want to do is head over to your start bar. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And you're just going to type in Windows. You want to go ahead and head over to Windows Update Settings here. Click on that. And then it should pop up. Of course, check for updates. So you're just going to go ahead and click checking for updates. If you have updates, go ahead and install them. If not, then you're going to go ahead and click get the PC health check. Now, once you do that, a window will pop up. That will take you to their website where you will download it. Um, I already have it downloaded. And you're just going to pop that up. Click check now. And then it'll tell you this PC must support secure boot. Uh, TPM 2.0 must be supported. Now, the primary thing that we're going to be talking about is TPM 2.0 and how to enable that because the majority of the systems that were purchased before July 2nd does not have that enabled. And that's going to be the key thing that's going to be preventing you from upgrading to Windows 11. So we'll go ahead and start up the system from the beginning. We'll show you how to get into the BIOS and how to change that setting. Now, we aren't gonna go in depth on every single motherboard, so you will be able to check our website and the link will be available in the description. In that link, it'll tell you how to change the setting for every single motherboard, because not all the BIOSes are the same. They're all different depending on the manufacturer. The BIOS that we're gonna be using is MSI, and I'll show you how to check that. You're gonna go ahead and click on the Start tab again, and you're just gonna type in System and this window will pop up saying system information. And this will show you what CPU, what more than one more GPU you have. So you're just gonna go ahead and click that. And so you can see right here, system manufacturer, right here, it's like the one, two, three, four, five, six, one down. It says MicroStar International, which is MSI. Um, or you can go right here, baseboard manufacturer, right here, this says the exact motherboard that you're using, MicroStar International, MSI. So that's the one that we're gonna be focusing on today. It is all roughly the same. How to get into BIOS is all the same. So let's go ahead and start doing that. We're just gonna go ahead and turn off our system now. Just go ahead and head over and click shut down. Now, while your system is booting up, you want to spam F2 and delete. That way you get a higher chance of getting it to the BIOS because sometimes it's a little finicky. Computer. There you go. All right, now we're in the BIOS. So this is what the BIOS looks like. It's nothing crazy. It's very simple. Well, actually it is. It might be crazy to some of you guys. You guys may have never seen the BIOS before. So we're gonna talk a little bit through it. Most of the stuff on screen, you can just go ahead and ignore. Just go ahead and press F7 or just look for the button that says advance. Just go ahead and click that and it'll take you over to the advanced mode, which gives you more options. You wanna head to the settings page. Then you wanna go to trusted computing and then you want to enable security device support. Go ahead and enable that. Press F10 to save, click yes, 
save configuration and exit, and then your system should restart. So now that we changed all the settings inside of our system, we're gonna go ahead and let the system reboot and head over into Windows. Back into settings, then update and security, and then Windows update, and you should now see that Windows 11 is available to download and install. From this point, you can follow the on-screen prompts and configure your settings however you prefer. And that's it, you're upgraded to Windows 11. If you follow this guide or the guide available on our website and are having any issues that continue to persist, please contact CyberPower PC support for further detailed troubleshooting. They will be happy to assist you with your installation as well as any other technical issues you might have. If your PC is unfortunately not supported by Windows 11 and you are interested in a new PC or laptop that comes with Windows 11 installed, make sure you check out our readily available line of pre-built PCs at many of the available retailers in the US or customize your very own on our website today at cyberpowerpc.com. And of course, remember to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. This is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC signing off. Catch you in the next video. Peace.